Welcome to the NRL previews for round five of the 2024 season. I'm Renee Gartner and I'm joined by Josh Mansour to unpack all the games this week. And Saturday begins at a core stadium as the Rabbitohs take on the Warriors. Josh, let's look at Souths first. Mm. Uh, a bit of a relief in the borough as they claim their two points. Yep. Um, but what did you like from their form in last week's game? And what do you think they have to bring to this game to, to claim the other two? Well, uh, I think Jason Dimitri has said it best. Uh, they didn't want to beat themselves that game last week. They completed pretty high at 94%. So you're always going to give yourself a chance. But they did concede a lot of penalties. So again, that's going to be a bit of a hit Achilles heel for them going to this week. They definitely need to fix that up. Uh, I think the shining light for me is Jackie Wyden. Two yep. tries, unbelievable effort. And could be could have potentially been three. So, again, they've got to get Jackie one as much ball as possible. He's their main strike weapon, especially with Alex Johnson now missing for a certain number of weeks. All right, well, let's look over to the Warriors. They've had to make numerous switches through injuries, uh, particularly over the last couple of weeks. The changes again, uh, Sean's nickel clock start, he returns to the field. Massive in. Then pushes RTS back into the centres. So we see some changes there again. It's, it's not a bad thing, but it's still a lot. Yeah, it's good to have Shans back, obviously. He does a tremendous amount of work at the back there for the Warriors. Um, obviously, RTS had an outstanding game at fullback last week, back in the back line there, but I don't think it's the motion, so to speak. Uh, I feel like RTS is good in the line as well as a good defender. I think the question mark is going to be around how they're going to use, utilise them both. Yep. Um, obviously, Roger wants the ball as much as he can, and Shans going to be, be the same. So. Um, I think the Warriors at the moment are a bit one-dimensional, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I feel like they need to utilise that fullback position uh, a bit more, especially on those short sides. Opportunity is great for this week, you know, coming up against South Sydney, who are very aggressive and like to jam up and in. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of early ball towards the fullback in the back. So where's this game won? Because, I mean, again, both have some really good strike power. Defensively, they're quite solid. Yeah. How do you break down the barriers for both? I feel like if they take a leaf out of the Bulldogs game plan last week, it will go a long way with the Warriors winning this game. I think they've just got to get into that arm, um, arm wrestle early. Um, again, I feel like the middles as well, they have a big job, big job. Adam Fanua Blake's got to step up. And they've got Murad and Nick Anakora back. He's a massive in. He provides so much aggression to that team. Definitely feel like uh, the middle, especially I feel like Wade Egan's the key. I feel like him jumping out of dummy half, especially against the, those tired middles for the South Sydney Rabbitohs, is going to hurt him. Okay. All right. So you, I feel like you're Warriors? Why on the I'm, train? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm the Rabbitohs' harshest critic. Uh, I still feel like they've got a, lot, a bit to go. Um, yep. So I'm going to go to Warriors this week. All right. Well, thank you very much, Josh. Unmissable matchups taking place all weekend. So if you want to see the matches live, head to nrl.com slash tickets. If you can't get to this game, though, you can watch it on Foxtel, Sky New Zealand or KO. Kickoff is at 3 p.m.